hello welcome back to another video so uh, so in the last class we discussed about a binary tree implementation and then in a in a bhd tree implementation of index so this is how you can store like uh, 100 to 150 you go to the left hand side and then for more than 150 you go to right hand side and this is how these are called we discussed that these are called the branch blocks and this is the leaf blocks okay so now let's uh, have another scenario like say let's say this is employee uh, num employee or yeah this is employee table let's say for whatever reason i want to insert 1 million rows of new employees okay so 100000 100000 new employee to my database okay so since this is already the index is on so therefore whenever i am inserting to my base table oracle is also going to insert something to the uh, index tables also okay so let's say since this is 1000 new employee 100000 new employees so remember like you know whenever we are going to uh, I'm going to enter this data so the tree is going to grow to the left hand side okay so basically basically you know see like you know anything that is good so for example the first we have already done for 200 so we have got 201 and 202 and 203 and so on okay so 201 so that those things always going to go to one block in the very left 201 202 like this 203 like this okay the problem is this if you start inserting this thing your insert is going to take a long time because whenever you are inserting to the base table and after that you are inserting the index table we are going to hit to this block we are going to hit to this block all concurrently okay concurrently a lot of inserts will happen so in the index case what's going to happen it's going to lock okay so therefore the overall insert performance time might not be a um, you don't get really good insert performance time so how do i solve this thing so this is the problem in the binary search tree so how do i solve this this problem i can solve this problem by a very simple uh, you know trick and that trick is like this let's say instead of storing in the you know we, we like you know, for example uh, uh, let's say we are going to store uh, insert insert employee let's say value we are going to insert to 100 201 okay so what are we going to do we are going to store this 201 to the base table so this is our employee table in the employee table we're going to store this employee id as 201 but in the index employee underscore idx what are we going to do we are going to store the reverse value of this thing so 201 reverse is 102 so let's store 102 here okay then we are going to have next next insert is going to happen is going to happen 202 the the, the reverse of that 202 is also 202 let's say another employee number is 203 or the reverse of 203 is 302 and remember in the best table we are going to still inserting 201 202 203 and so on but in the in the index table we are going to insert the reverse value now if i if i reverse this value then do you see any difference here is that if here is the this is uh, let's talk this thing this is the reversed value reversed value okay and if you do not reverse it what should happen if you do not reverse it let me put it under color uh, if you don't reverse it the thing should have been employee idx should be in uh, 10 sorry 201 202 203 and so on okay so if you do not reverse so this is this scenario is no reverse if you do not reverse the value of employee id then you should have stored this thing in the uh, b tree 201 202 203 so 201 203 203 are going to happen to come to the same block here but the moment i reverse it what's going to happen 102 is going to go to somewhere here okay 102 is going to somewhere here and where is going to go to 202 somewhere very far away from that okay so 202 is going to go somewhere here where is going to go 302 somewhere even farther okay so the idea behind this reverse key is this by by reversing the key so what essentially i did by reversing the key what I essentially i did i spread this employee index over a area in the leaf node, leaf, leaf node okay having doing that so for example when i'm going to insert 201 
it is going to go to a block that is going to be inserted in a much different than in a much different block than I the, for the next next insert. Okay, so that is called reverse key index. So that means we are going to reverse the value of the key and store that. And whenever we are going to do select star from EMP where employee number is equal to say 102, then what is going to happen? You know, whenever you going to search the index, it is going to reverse the value, whatever the query is going to get. So basically, it is going to actually going to search for a key that is 201. And whatever this 201 row ID, that is actually the row ID of 102 in the employee table. Okay. So that is the simple trick they do to to make sure that insert performance will not suffer if we do a if you use a reverse key B, this is called reverse key BST binary search binary binary index I hope you get it thanks